Hey guys, so today I'm going to show you how to do part 2 of my crochet flamingo. So same thing as before, I just typed out the pattern so you guys can just take a screenshot and then go along your own pace or you can just follow along as me explaining it. So first you're going to start with grey wool and do a magic ring and then do 6 single crochets into that magic ring. Row 3 is another 6 single crochets. Row 4 is 1 single crochet, 1 increase until the end of the row. Row 5 is 9 single crochets. Row 6 is 2 single crochets, 1 increase until the end of the row. Row 7 is 2 single crochets, 1 half double crochet, 1 increase, 2 double crochets, then 2 double crochets into the same stitch so it's like an increase but just with double crochets. 1 half double crochet and 4 single crochets. Row 8 is 2 single crochets, 1 half double crochet, 2 double crochets in the same stitch to do that twice, 2 double crochets, and then another 2 double crochets into the same stitch twice, and then 1 half double crochet and 4 single crochets. Row 9 to 10 is simple, it's just eight single, 18 single crochets. Now you're going to switch to a white wool and then you're going to do 5 single crochets, 1 increase, 2 single crochets, so that part you're going to do times 3, and then 4 single crochets. Row 12 to 13, you're going to do 21 single crochets. Row 14, you're going to do 7 single crochets, 1 increase, 2 single crochets times 3, and then 5 single crochets. Row 15, you're just going to do 24 single crochets. Row 16, you're going to do 9 single crochets, 1 half double crochet, 1 double crochet. Then two double crochets into one stitch, you're gonna do that times three. One half double crochet, one double crochet, and then eight single crochets. Then you can finish off that row and then you're done with your beak and just stuff it and you can sew it on to your head of your flamingo. This should be between row 69 and 77 and the top should kind of be in between the eyes. are going to move on to the legs you need to make two of these because flamingo has two legs and you're going to start off with gray wool so you're going to do 12 chains with a connected with a slip stitch row two to four will be 12 single crochets row five will be two single crochets and one decrease for the entire row row six will be one single crochet and one decrease for the whole row row seven to sixteen will be six single crochets which will be the beginning of the leg Row 17 will be increased for the entire row. Row 18 to 19 will be 12 single crochets. So then I just added a little bit stuffing because this will be my knee and it looks much more poofier if that makes any sense. Then row 20, you need a decrease for the entire row. And then row 21 to 30, you're gonna do six single crochets. Row 31, you're gonna do one single crochet, one increase for the entire row. Row 32, you're new. Three single crochets, one increase for the entire row. Row 33, you're new. Four single crochets, one increase for the entire row. Row 34, you're new. Five single crochets, one increase for the entire row. Row 35, you're new. Six single crochets, one increase, and repeat that for the entire row. Row 36 kind of gets confusing, so you're gonna use slip stitches to turn your 16 sing stitches into eight sti stitches if that makes any sense but this is how you're near do your toes is row 37 you're gonna do chain one turn your work and then go one single crochet and then chain three and then increase and then three single crochets at the base so you're gonna pretty much do this times three for the foot it helps to look at the pattern because i don't explain it really well but yeah and then i just stuff the very top of my leg and sew it on. So now we're going to start on the wings. You have to make two wings because Flamingo has two wings. And you're going to start off with your pink wool. Make a magic ring or two chains with a slip stitch connecting them. 
row two, you're gonna work into your magic ring. You're gonna do uh, six single crochets. Row three, for your entire row, you're just gonna do increases. So uh, two single crochets into each hole. Row four, you're gonna do one single crochet and one increase until the end of the row. Row five, you're gonna do one single crochet, one increase, one single crochet until the end of the, your row. Row six is 24 single crochets and row seven is three single crochets and one increase until the end of your row. Now we are going to begin on the feather. So you're gonna work out from your loop, do 13 chains and then working back into these chains, you're going to do one single crochet, one half double crochet, 10 double crochets. And then when you come back to, into your circle, you're gonna skip your first stitch and then do a single crochet into your second stitch. Row nine is 11 chains, one single crochet, one half double crochet, eight double crochets, and one single crochet into the circle. Row 10 is nine chains, one single crochet, one half double crochet, six double crochets, and one single crochet into the circle. 11 is seven chains, one single crochet, one half double crochet, four double crochets, and one single crochet into the circle. Row 12 is five chains, one single crochet, one half double crochet, two double crochets, one single crochet into the circle. Row 13 to 14, they're both going to be three chains, one single crochet, one half double crochet, and, and then one single crochet into the circle. Row 15 is five chains, one single crochet, one half double crochet, and two double crochets, one single crochet into the circle. Row 16 is seven chains, one single crochet, one half double crochet, four double crochets, one single crochet into the loop. 17 is nine chains, one single crochet, one half double crochet, six double crochets, and one single crochet into the loop. Row 18 is 11 chains, one single crochet, one half double crochet, eight double crochets, and one single crochet into the loop. Row 19 is 13 chains, one single crochet, one half double crochet, 10 double crochets, and one single crochet into the loop. Row 20 is 15 chains, one single crochet, one half double crochet, 12 double crochets, and one single crochet into the loop. Now we're going to switch to gray wool and we're going to do row 21 to 25 all the same. 16 chains, one single crochet, one half double crochet, 13 double crochets, and one single crochet into the loop. So then we're just going to finish it off and then we will sew our wings to our flamingo. So then you're just going to sew your feather onto your flamingo. So I just used normal thread and um, a needle that's specifically made for wool. So it just a thicker needle with a almost a bend in the middle. So it's just easier to sew with it. And then, so you're just gonna fold your feather flat and then sew in the middle of it. And then when you're done, you're just gonna fold your feather over your sewing part. So this part is totally optional, but I thought my flamingo looked cuter with hair because it kind of looked bald without hair. <laughs> So all I did was cut a few threads of my gray wool and then I just threaded it through the top and then when I was done doing that I just folded all of it upwards and then put a thread around it and put a little bow around her hair. I thought it just kind of finished off my flamingo and it looked much more pretty with some hair. So I hope you guys enjoyed. Sorry for the long wait i was busy busy with college and all that but i'll try and keep up with my videos have a nice day bye